my dear friends we are going to start a series of lectures on sewing ka if you remember we had already started talking on sewing ka but because of the unprecedented conditions prevailing in the whole country we are disconnected with each other for a long time and i take this opportunity to start a series of classes from today we discussed certain aspects of swayanka so my first class may be taken as an effort on my part to refresh your memory to remind you of what we had taught in our earlier classes Now look at the name of Swayanka. Please look at the full name. Akin one day, Olulo Swayanka. Akin one day, Oluol Swayanka. Born in 1934, and we name the series of lecture. understanding swinkers the dance of the forest this was a play which was directed by swinka himself in its maiden performance on the occasion of the celebration of the independence of nigeria now this a dance of the forest is a different kind of a play it is definitely not a well made play what do we understand by a well made play is a play with a regular plot a solid story line a regular beginning a middle and an end we may remember that swenka was associated with samuel beckett and who's born in england in england he was studying at the university of leeds in fact he graduated from the university of leeds and he had established during that period of time a relationship with some literary luminaries of england but swenka did something unique he assimilated the western culture in his dramatic concept which was a combination of western ethos with african folk literature african myth and african dance and music if we analyze the dance of the forests look at the name the name is very significant a dance of the forests why is it a dance and why the forest is in plural the forests something that you must consider dance and music are integral parts of 
Eurobo culture. I'll, I'll take down. I'll write down on the on the board. This is Yoruba religious mythology which incorporates dance and music. So it is playing a dance of the forests. Swayanka brings in the Yoruba mythological characteristics, dance and music, and names his play A Dance of the Forests. Now this is a play which has political, social, psychological and religious dimensions. So Enka, in a way, was leaving a message for the people of Nigeria in this play. Nigeria got, his, got its freedom. It was under the colonial rule for years and it got its independence. But Nigeria, like many other erstwhile colonial countries, had to face the problem of decolonization, the problem of decolonization. What was to be done by the people of Nigeria? What would they do? How would they? take up and make up their culture, would they go back to the past? Would they look back to the past of Africa, to the past of Nigeria and build up the present in that fashion? Well. Swayanka is sounding a warning for them because past will not help them out of the present crisis. They will have to evolve a new future depending on their willpower. They will have to make their own innovations, not out of the past, but out of something which they will have to imagine for themselves in the present. The past is a half child. The past is a dead child and they will not be able to move with the dead child or the half child. Swayanka warns his people and therefore in his play he incorporates the mythology of Mata Karibu 
I'll take down. Right down, I'll. So the myth of Mata Kharibu or Mata Khariba and the present political crisis and the corruption of Nigeria, the lack of understanding of the people, all these are framed by Swayinka in different threads and these threads are incorporated to make the plot of the play. Swayinka was warning his people that the romantic illusion that past is glorious must be avoided by them. They must shelve any such romantic illusion. Because the slavery that the African people faced in the colonial rule was something which was there even in the past. The exploitation of the black people is not something that came to Africa only with the colonial rulers. It is an exploitation which has been continuing and the myth of Mata Kharibu which is incorporated in the play as a play within the play shows that the past was no better than the colonial present. Soenka begins his play apparently with four clusters of characters. Cluster one, the town dwellers. Cluster two, the forest dwellers, cluster three, the characters in the court of Mata Kharibu, and cluster four, the dead man and the dead woman. But when you look into it, we find that all the characters interact with one another. In fact, the town dwellers and the characters from 
the court of Mata Kharibu are same. The, some of the characters of Mata Kharibu are in fact reincarnations which we find in or among the town dwellers. I'll give you a chart and the chart will show how characters from Mata Kharibu and the characters existing in the present, the characters who are known as town dwellers are in fact only different in name not in identity. For example, Adene B is a character, a present character in the town, but he was present, the character of Mata Kharibu as historian. Dimok, who is an artist, a sculptor, was there in the court as the court poet. Then Agboreko was there, Agboreke, present character, who is present among the town dwellers, was there as the soothsayer in the court of Mata Kharibu. Rola, the most important character, perhaps Rola, who is a prostitute, she was there as Madame Tortoise in the court of Mata Kharimu. So, precisely speaking, we have two sets of characters. The human characters who are unchanged from the past and the mythological characters who are born with new names. In fact, they can be taken as one group. The other group, the other group is the group of city dwellers. But the, these, sorry, the, sorry, the group of forest dwellers. But the forest dwellers, they have also a different dimension. The, among the forest dwellers, we have many who are precisely mythological characters like Aroni, like Muret, like the Sud, like the like Agun, etc. So, Mata Kharibu's court and the present city actually the inhabitants living in the present city and in the court of Mata Kharibu are virtually one, one group. The forest dwellers are a different guru, but the forest dwellers are also characters with mythological dimensions, especially Agun is a mythological character who is associated with creation and destruction. And the other set, the outsiders, the guests of honor, the old man and the old woman, in fact they too were present in the character, in the, in the court of Mata Kharibu. They were present there as the captain and the captain's wife. Now, the celebration and the invitation to the people to come and assemble can pose several questions. 
it's a celebration on the occasion of the independence of Nigeria but this celebration and as I said the invitation of the people from different categories to from different tribes to come to assemble can pose different questions question one the new Africa is like a stillborn baby and how can this stillborn baby be revived how can the Africans revive the stillborn or the newborn baby how will the people find a proper and decent path to move ahead because past will not help them how will the new nation come forward these are the questions that are posed by Swanker's play and how these questions are presented through the characters through their dialogues and through their interactions I shall be taking up in subsequent classes but before I end I'll be giving the chart of characters the characters in the court of Mata Kharibu being reborn as the characters in the present I'll give the chart Just look at this, Adenabi, he was historian. He was historian in the court of Akakari. Demok, court poet. And Boreko, soothsayer. And Rola, 
mother of chocolates. So this chart can show that the present characters, they are virtually a reincarnation of the characters of the past. Thus, there is virtually no difference between the past and the present. And therefore, as Soenka tries to convey that by looking at the so-called glorious past, Nigeria can achieve nothing. Nigeria will be able to achieve nothing. And as I said, that initially it was seen that there are two clusters of character, but they are not two clusters, same. They're the same. So therefore, the two groups can be taken as one cluster. And once again, I uh, tell you something about the, the, the forest dwellers. I got Agun, O-G-U-N. Especially, well, you know, there, there are other characters also, Muret and Shuro, but Ogun is the most important mythological character. And it doesn't, it doesn't signify or it doesn't mean that, well, you know, the, the characters are isolated. No, they interact with one another frequently. And that makes the uniqueness of the play. Therefore, let us sum up what I said in this class of mine, in this lecture of mine. Swinkers, a dance of the forest, is a different kind of a play. It is not a so-called well-made play. A well-made play has a definite story, with a definite beginning, a middle and an end. The solid storyline, no solid storyline is there. So what is the play about? This is a play which has profound social, political, psychological and mythological implications. This is a play which can be explained as a message to the newly independent Nigerian people, African people. The African people facing the same predicament as the newly independent people faced earlier also were at a loss as to what to do. Because on the one hand they had their present which is an outcome of the colonial education, colonial teachings, colonial law colonial systems and on the other they have their past they have rejected the colonial rule and they are now free but how to go ahead should they look back to the past the their Swenka warns them that the past was no better the slavery of the African people was not something which was given to them by the foreigners. Slavery was something which was there in the past also. Their own people imposed upon them the slavery. The slavery had been an ongoing process for the Africans. So will they look back to the colonial masters? They cannot do that. Will they look back to the past? They mustn't do that. Now the African people, the Nigerian people are in a predicament, what they will do. So they will have to depend on their own will 
think of something new. Only that can help them out from their present predicament. Now in the next section or the next lecture, I shall be discussing the first part of the play. Thank you very much.